Gabriel. Do you, do you need me, Lord? I have a mission for you. It's an important mission, and I'm trusting you, my most loyal messenger. Of course, Lord, I'll do whatever you ask. I am seeking a salesman to spread my gospel. But Lord, aren't there already plenty of Christians out there that are spreading your word to the masses? There are many who are spreading my gospel, but none like my original 12 disciples. I'm looking for one who will preach the good news like Paul of Tarsus or my servant Simon Peter. I need a disciple, actually more than just a disciple, a special envoy. You, Gabriel, are to find him and help him with that mission. That, that's brilliant, Lord, but did you have somebody in mind? There is one I have gifted with the power of persuasion and charm. He will do quite nicely, except... Except? Except he doesn't know me or the Father. That is where you will come in. You will teach him about me and the Father, and he will become one of the most powerful voices of our cause. Lord, wouldn't it make more sense to find somebody who already knows you? I mean, wouldn't that make what you propose easier? Gabriel, you've been with me since the beginning. Do you trust me? With all my heart, Lord. Then trust that I know what I'm doing. I will point out who you need to seek out, and you will take it from there. Now get going. Lord? Uh, yes? Who am I looking for? His name is Larry Onderback. He lives in New Jersey. You will know when you find him. Right. Lord, before I go, can I ask a question? Of course. While I'm on Earth, do you think I have time? Could I get just a few? G Gabriel, what do you desire? Waffles. Uh, don't, don't eat too many. You won't be able to get back through the gates if you do. Thank you, my Lord. Glory to the Most High. Lord, you said I would know Larry when I saw him. Where is he? I don't know how it happened, but I'm telling you, that lady would have bought anything I had to sell. I guess it's true what they say about me. I, Larry Underbeck, am the greatest salesman ever born. Thanks. E excuse me, Larry? Who wants to know? Um, I do. Well, you found him. But uh, here's the thing. Right now, I'm not in the mood for making new friends, so... Now what do I do? Use your imagination. You can do it. Excuse me. Larry Onderback, I need you to listen to me. This message comes from the one true God. Oh, in that case, I better listen up. Look, kid, I'm the last person God would want to talk to. He'd probably be afraid I'd sell him a life policy. <laughs> hey, guys, can you imagine having a commission I sold to God? What is a 6% commission for eternity? <laughs> hey, kid, you go back and tell uh, God that I'm Larry Onderback, and if he wants to talk to me, he can come to me personally. Oh, you better get going there. Uh, the asylum closes at 8. You don't want to be locked out. Larry, I'd like to talk to you right this moment. Sounds like someone woke up on the wrong side of the coffin this morning. Do I look amused? You know the information you brought me on the Fredericks? Yeah, what about it? Well, it seems Mrs. Fredericks claims that you coerced her into signing the application. What? What are you talking about coerced? She claims you used deceptive techniques in order to get her to sign. 
Do you know, she wants to file a complaint against you with the insurance department? Let her. What's the worst that could happen? We refund her money, say it was all a big misunderstanding. You know, I wish it were that simple. This is the eighth complaint in the last three months for this very same thing. You know, Larry, you're really good at what you do. But people and their problems, they mean nothing. All you care about is money. I'm going to have to let you go. You're firing me. Just like that. Well, if I let you stay here, employed, after all the complaints, you know, the insurance company, they're going to come down hard on all of us. And I can't afford for that to happen. Listen, I'll be happy to write down a letter of recommendation and you'll be able to get a job, no problem. You can take the rest of the day off.